Derrick Rose. We're switching you with the Chicago Bulls Derrick Rose that won MVP. LeBron James is going back to the Miami Heat version of LeBron James. Dwight Howard is back to his best version when he was on the Orlando Magic. Every NBA player is in their prime, but they have to stay on the same team. So the Washington Wizards with prime John Wall and prime Dwight Howard all of a sudden are a contender. Let's begin with number seven. Wait, wait, wait. If you're not subscribed, you're crazy. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button. We're trying to hit 1.6 million today. Also hit that notification bell to join Nodi Gang. So every time I upload a fire video, you're not gonna miss it. Let's begin with the Eastern Conference. Number seven, the Charlotte Hornets. At point guard, we got Tony Parker. In this 2012 version, he got fifth place in the MVP voting. Next, we got Kemba Walker, the 2012 Nicholas Batum, Marvin Williams when he was on the Atlanta Hawks, and Biz Mac Biombo, who was one of the best defensive players in 2016. This team is amazing, and it's only number seven. Number six, Atlanta Hawks. Right now, they're one of the worst teams in the league, but when everyone's in their prime, we got Trey Young, but more importantly, the 2001 Vince Carter! 28 points a game, 5 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals, 1 block, a Hall of Famer! Small forward, we got Kent Bazemore, and even in 2014 he wasn't a superstar, but he was a very good role player. John Collins and Dwayne Dedman. Since the Hawks are a very young team, most of them aren't in their prime yet, like Trey Young and John Collins, but adding a prime Vince Carter instantly makes them a playoff team. Number five, Cleveland Cavaliers. This one is crazy. Point guard, we got Colin, the 2019 version, but this is where it gets crazy. Matthew Delibadova. Right now, he's not a big deal, but in 2016, he was a huge reason the Cavaliers made it to the finals. One of the best defensive guards in the league. But it gets better. Small forward J.R. Smith. The best version of J.R. is 2013 when he was on the New York Knicks. One of the best scorers in the league. Power forward Kevin Love. Prime Kevin Love is one of the best power forwards the NBA has ever seen. He might have been a little bit chubby. But he was averaging 26 points and 13 rebounds and was an MVP candidate. Center Tristan Thompson and the sixth man off the bench, 2011 Channing Frye. Some of you might think I'm ranking them too high, but trust me, prime Kevin Love would take this team to the playoffs easily. Number four, Toronto Raptors. Man, this team could win a title. Point guard Kyle Lowry, and in his prime, he was still on the Raptors, but in 2016, he averaged 22 points, 7 assists, 5 rebounds, 2 steals. He was a top 5 point guard and 10th place in the MVP voting. Danny Green, when he was on the Spurs, one of the best 3 and D players in the league. 43% on 3 pointers and a top 10 defensive player. Kawhi Leonard, when he was on the Spurs. Psych! Get him out of here! This year's Kawhi Leonard is his prime! 2019 is his best season so far. Power forward Serge Ibaka! When he was with the Thunder, he was a game changer. 15 and 9 and averaged 3 blocks a game. At center we got Marc Gasol, 2015 with the Grizzlies. Did you know Marc Gasol was in the MVP race this season? So this team is incredible. Best team so far this video. And they're only number four. These next three teams are insane. Number three, Milwaukee Bucks. Point guard, the 2017 George Hill. It was the best season of his career. He did amazing in Utah, but then he got traded the next season. Then we got Malcolm Brogdon and Giannis. Both the 2019 version, they're already in their prime. But this is where it gets good. Power forward Pau Gasol, a future Hall of Famer. This is the year he won an NBA championship. 
19 points, 10 rebounds, one of the best power forwards in the NBA at the time. Even better, Brooke Lopez! When he was with the Brooklyn Nets, he was scoring over 20 a game and was unstoppable. But it didn't matter because that season, the Brooklyn Nets were terrible. Well, now it matters. Number two, Boston Celtics. This might be controversial, but Kyrie Irving, when he was on the Cavaliers, I think the 2017 Kyrie is the best one we've seen. He averaged 25 points and six assists with LeBron. Do you know how hard it is to average 25 assists with LeBron James? Jalen Brown, but the 2018 version, his numbers were a little bit better last year. Gordon Hayward, when he was on the Utah Jazz. Power forward Jason Tatum from this season. And center, the 2014 Atlanta Hawks, Al Horford. He was the leading scorer of the team and was an all-star that season. But Greg, this is the best team we've seen. How are they not number one? Number one is about to blow your mind. Number one, the Washington Wizards. Prime John Wall. He was the best defensive point guard, averaged 23 points, 11 assists, and two steals a game. He was a superstar. Bradley Beal from this season is averaging 26 a game. Trevor Ariza. In 2010, when he was with the Houston Rockets, but he was an amazing defender and had a very high three-point percentage. 2017, Jabari Parker, 20 points per game. Oh my goodness. Before the injuries, that guy was a superstar. And our center, who is barely a part of the Wizards right now, but technically he's on their roster. Dwight Howard, when he was on the Orlando Magic, he was the best center in the league for years. His stats that season are so disgusting, they deserve a moment of silence. But if you thought these were good, they are nothing compared to the Western Conference. Number seven, Memphis Grizzlies. At point guard, we got Mike Conley. And surprisingly, this is his best season right now. Avery Bradley. In case you forgot, when he was on the Boston Celtics, he was the best defender in the league averaged 16 points a game, and was one of their most valuable players. What happened to him? I don't know. Small forward Chandler Parsons. On the Houston Rockets, he was one of the elite up-and-coming scorers. Power forward Jonas Valanciunas from this season, and center. Oh my goodness, Joakim Noah. With the Chicago Bulls, Joakim Noah won Defensive Player of the Year, made the All-Star team, and averaged the most points of his career. Number six, Utah Jazz. This team is a little weird. At point guard, we got Ricky Rubio, but we're gonna use the 2016 version when he was on the Timberwolves. Donovan Mitchell this season. At small forward, we're using Kyle Korver from the Atlanta Hawks. In 2014, Kyle Korver was an all-star. Power forward, Jay Crowder. Just like Avery Bradley from the Grizzlies, Jay Crowder was so much better on the Celtics. And center, Rudy Gobert. Sixth man, they got Derek Favors, but the 2016 version, who was incredible. Number five, Dallas Mavericks. Let's just skip to power forward. We got Dirk Nowitzki? The 2017 version, that one MVP? One of the few NBA players to ever have a 50, 40, 90 year. Point guard, Devin Harris, the all-star version. Yeah, there is an all-star version. He averaged 21 points and seven assists. Tim Hardaway Jr., when he was on the New York Knicks last year. And of course, our small forward, Luka Doncic. And center, well, they don't have a good center. That's why they're only number five. Dwight Powell, if they had another good big man, they would probably be top three. Number four. OKC Thunder. Point guard, we got my guy Russell Westbrook, but let's switch him with the 2017 version. This is the year he won MVP and probably his most efficient season so far. Then we got Dennis Schroeder, but we're gonna use the 2017 version when he was on the Atlanta Hawks, averaging over 19 points a game. Paul George is our small forward. Wait a minute, get that Indiana Pacers version out of here. 
This season was the best season of his career, the 2019 version. Markeith Morris, who barely gets any playtime now, but in his prime with the Phoenix Suns, was actually really good. Steven Adams is our center, and the sixth man, Raymond Felton, in his prime with the New York Knicks, he actually averaged 17 points a game. These next three teams are the three best teams in the entire video. Number three, Los Angeles Lakers. Point guard, Lonzo Ball. Just kidding, move him to the bench because we got prime Rajon Rondo. Oh yeah, did you know in 2011, he was an all-star? He was eighth place in the MVP voting. 12 points, 12 assists, and four steals a game. Do you know how crazy that is? He's a huge reason the Boston Celtics won titles. Then we got Lance Stevenson back when he was on the Indiana Pacers. LeBron James. This is a tough one, but I think his best version was with the Miami Heat in 2013. It wasn't his highest scoring season, only 27 points a game, but he won MVP, he won a title, and it was the only time in his career he averaged over 40% from the three-point arc. His most complete season of his career. Kyle Kuzma at power forward and Tyson Chandler. He was an all-star in 2013. This team has an amazing point guard, three great scorers, and one of the best defensive players of the last decade. Number two, Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm excited about this one. You already know at point guard, we got Derrick Rose, the 2011 MVP before the injury. 25 points, 8 assists, the best player in the league at the time. But it gets better. Andrew Wiggins, the 2017 version, averaged almost 24 points a game. Are you serious? I mean, it's been a little downhill since then, but 24 points a game? Small forward Luol Deng, also when he was on the Bulls, was an all-star that season. Power forward Todd Gibson also was on the Bulls. In 2014, center Carl Anthony Towns from this season, and sixth man, another all-star, Jeff Teague. In 2015, when he was on the Hawks, he was a top 10 point guard. If you add up all their points, this team averages like 130 points a game. And still, it's only number two. Because number one might be the scariest team in NBA history. Number one, the Golden State Warriors. This team makes the 2019 Golden State Warriors look like a G League team. Point guard, Stephen Curry. The season the Warriors went 73 and nine before KD came, he averaged 30 points per game and won MVP. Andre Iguodala, when he was a superstar with the 76ers. 20 points, 5 assists, 5 rebounds, 2 steals, but I'm not done! Small forward Kevin Durant when he won MVP with the Oklahoma City Thunder. 32 points per game, one of the best NBA seasons ever! 2017 Draymond Green, not the best offensive player, but he won Defensive Player of the Year. And oh my goodness, the center DeMarcus Cousins when he was on the Kings! 27 points, 12 rebounds, the best center in the league. But it gets worse. Sixth man Andrew Bogut when he was on Milwaukee in 2010. 16 points, 10 rebounds, 2.5 blocks. If every NBA player was in their prime, this is the best team. Last video was the worst draft comparisons ever. Go watch that. That video was crazy. I'll put it somewhere on the screen for you to click. The worst team would have been the Chicago Bulls.